What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and it's time for another Pokemon battle video. Thank you guys for coming to this video. I'm excited because it's Halloween. This is a Halloween special video, if you will. If you guys are going trick-or-treating tonight, or you're going out to celebrate this wonderful holiday, please be safe. It's better to be safe than sorry, of course. And uh, it should be really fun. I am actually going to... I'm going to be traveling this weekend. And I'm visiting some awesome YouTubers. Uh, Kubel, Langi8, you guys should know him from my Battle Tree collaboration. And then I'm also visiting Sarah C. I'll put those guys in the description. Uh, those YouTubers. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little tired, so... Bear with me, okay? So we have two YouTubers I'm visiting. I'll put those... Links in the description to check them out. They're awesome. They're awesome YouTubers striving for success. They're doing amazing. Just like I am. So that is what's happening this weekend. Of course, we have Halloween to deal with. So that's what this video is for. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now, we are doing a mono-type battle video today. I haven't done a mono-type team in a long time. So we'll see how we do with that. Of course, this is a ghost type team. So, we have Gorgeist, Super, you've guessed it, it's for Halloween, right? It's a freaking pumpkin. So why wouldn't you use it on, on a Halloween type of video? Um, we have a Life Orb Gorgeist Super today. Not the smaller forms, unfortunately. We have a offensive variant with a Sea Bomb, Explosion, Leech Seed, and Shadow Sneak type of set with Max HP and Max Attack for special effects, if I can say it right. And uh, yeah, a lot of people like to use Substitute with this Pokemon, but I am not going to be using it in this video, which is unfortunate. Our next Pokemon is Chandelure, and I was toying around it with different items. I think Gosinium Z is the right item for this Pokemon. We have Substitute Fire Blast. Shadow Ball, and Psychic. So, it's another offensive Pokemon. We want to have some offense with a little bit of defense, which will come into play a little bit later. But yeah, this should be really fun. Uh, the third Pokemon in the squad is Gengar. Unfortunately, we cannot use a Mega Gengar. We can't also use Marshadow, which was another Pokemon I wanted to use, but Marshadow is a legendary. Therefore, it's banned. I can't use it. And then, of course, Megas can't be used in this monotype team. Very sad, very unfortunate, but still spooky all the same. We have a Choice Scarf Gengar with Cursed Body. Uh, that's the ability there. And then Shadow Ball, Hidden Power Fighting, Sludge Bomb, and Thunderbolt. I, I love the coverage on this Pokemon. Uh, Hidden Power Fighting is probably better. It handles, if we have to face a dark type, mono type team for whatever reason, I'll have that for coverage as opposed to Hidden Power Ice. That's just my thinking there. And then there was one other thing, but I forgot why I have it, but that's the primary reason. It's just because of the dark type Pokemon that we might be facing. You never know. I don't know what Pokemon I'm going to be facing in the video. I haven't done the match yet, but it's very just in case. It's good coverage. The third Pokemon is Spiritomb. Now, a mono ghost type team must have a dark type somewhere. And I think that's the only Pokemon, aside from Sableye, of course, Sableye is also ghost dark, but Spiritomb is great because it has the tools to burn opponents. It has the ability to pain split and destiny bond. I've decided to make it a Gavi Berry, which will restore its HP by 50% when it's low. And uh, Will Wisp is a mandatory move because it'll burn the opposing Pokemon. So if we have a physical attacker on the other side of the field, we'll burn it right down. Foul play is great to catch physical attackers, of course, and then Sucker Punch Pursuit. So it's a little bit strange. I will make it work, okay? I know it's a little off, but it's just, I like this set for some reason. We have Infiltrator, of course, so we can bypass Substitutes, which is great. And then you can see the EV spread right there. 
Go work is next. We have a choice band alert. Choice band and iron fist. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of power. Uh, shadow punch, earthquake, drain punch, and fire punch. Again, a lot of coverage with this Pokemon. Earthquake and shadow punch are stab, of course. Same type attack bonus. And then, of course, drain punch is to restore HP if we're low. And then fire punch is for coverage. The last Pokemon is Frostlass. We have a Focus Sash Frostlass, and it's a great lead to get up Spikes, Thunder Wave to paralyze opponents if we can't burn them, and then Destiny Bond, Ice Beam. So there you have it, that is the team for the Monotype Ghost type team. Wow, that's a lot of uh, types there, you know what I'm saying? It's a tongue twister. So there you have it, that's the team for today's episode or Halloween special episode, whatever you can call it. And let's get right into the battle. I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, trainers. So we are here for the actual match where I face someone with a mono type team. And it looks like my opponent here has a mono poison team. How awesome is that? We'll roll with it. So my opponent has a Nego King, Tossapex, Gengar. How awesome is that? Are you kidding me? We're rocking the same Gengar. Probably a different set, but still the same species as Park Ghost too. Perfect for Halloween, mind you. And then he also has a Alolan Muck and Vileplume. Very interesting choice. I like it. Then the Hilgo, a beast Pokemon from Ultra Sun and Moon. If you guys skipped the team builder for some reason, I have a Gorgeist Super. And for some reason, guys, I don't know what happened, but I have a Chandelure with a Life Orb instead of the Gosinium Z. So I must have not saved my changes properly. I don't know. But it's a Life Orb, Chandelure, not Gosinium Z. I apologize. I shouldn't have said that earlier. And then Gengar, who's short scarfed. Spirit him with your God Fairy Choice Band Goldwork and a League Frostlass. So I'm going to begin with Frostlass. I was expecting Nigo King or Toxapex to start out. I was right on one of them. I'm not worried about the Toxic Spikes. Here I'm going to set up my own regular spikes on the opposing field or on the other side of the battlefield, whatever it means, I guess. You know, getting the spikes on the other side of the field, that's great. I'm not worried about the toxic spikes on my side though, because we have a Gengar to get rid of them. Unfortunately, my Frostlass got burned. It's not going to hinder its stats, but it's going to take damage over time. I go like the Chandelure after this, because I'm, I know that toxic spikes is going to go for our toxic spikes. So I need to have Gengar around to hopefully get rid of them. And uh, I make a few misplays with Chandelure. You can see the life orb damage too, which is not helping whatsoever. I wanted to use Psychic with it, but I instead used Substitute at the wrong time. And he... I knew he was going to probably switch into Muck, so I wanted to use Shadow Ball and Fire Blast, and it really doesn't do anything. He was expecting me to switch out, so... Can't really do anything there. Now, I could have gone into my Gengar and eliminated the poison, but why would I want to do that? Because Muck is in a Lolan form, it's a dark type, so I can't go into it. I'll be destroyed. But I do manage to use my Choice Band Go Work there. I go into Gengar finally to get rid of the poison, but that's it, because a Shadow Ball is going to wipe him out. This is okay because I can go into Spiritomb, expecting him to switch into a different Pokemon. I go in, I go with the Pursuit, and we trap him, we nail him, and he's out. I go into Gold Work again. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good option. It's checkmate to this thing, because I have Earthquake. It's going to easily wipe out the Casa Pets. However, he was able to. I forgot what you get there, but, um, you saw it. But, yeah, the poison is taking damage. 
Oh, I think he went for another layer of toxic spice. That's what happened. Okay. Well, that's a little so unfortunate. We don't have Gengar anymore. But it's all good. Thankfully, it's only regular poison. If it was double poison, I'd be taking essentially toxic. Really toxic damage. So, I go like a Gengar. Or, <clears throat> Gorgai is super. What the hell? Gorgai is super here. And I'm going to try and rid of this Vile Plume. But. Explosion does not do the type of damage it needs to do. So, that's a, a really bad play. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just unfortunate that I was unable to wipe out a Pokemon that has, like, it was Explosion, right? It's the most powerful move in the entire game. I wasn't able to knock him out. We freeze the hill go here with the Ice Beam, and I'm like, wow, okay, that's great, because I can go back into Goldwork, and use my attack. But he thaws out. What the hell? That's not good whatsoever. I am faster than this thing, so I'll go back into Frost Last and use Destiny Bond. And the idea behind that is he'll knock me out, yes. But he's going to go down with me. It's so a double down, best types of downs. Happy Halloween, everybody. That's all I can say. Now he has two Pokemon remaining. He's got Nigo King and Vile Plum. I go for a Sucker Punch as he goes for the Hidden, or not Hidden Power, but like Earth Power. I'm a little bit tired, guys. Let's hang in there all together. And uh, he goes for Taunt, expecting something there. I, I wasn't going to go for any, I wasn't going to go for Will Wisp or anything like that. Why would I do that? So I just go for my attacking move. And at the HP range I was at, I was able to activate my God of Berry. And because of the regular spikes that Frostless was able to put out, we are able to knock him out with those spikes. So, a very fast paced game, but that's the only game I could find that utilized these Pokemon correctly in a way. It was a really close game, 6-5 your final, or 1-0, however you want to look at it, but that was a great match. So Thank you, thank you to my opponent for the match. I'll try to get more matches like these, but I thought this was okay for Halloween. A mono ghost type team against a poison type team. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, trainers.